In this video, we will talk about how to delegate to mixed notes. Simply select the delegate menu on the left hand side of the screen, and then that will bring you onto the delegation screen inside the wallet. A few things to note. When delegating to a mixed node, if a mixed node has good uptime, it's deemed to be a good and reliable operator. And therefore you're more likely to see other individuals delegate into this mixed node as well. The rewards distribution cycle works on a specific epoch. However, the active sets for determining which mixed nodes will be selected for rewarding is calculated on an hourly basis. A further thing to note is that we're continuously working on our system. So shortly you'll be able to withdraw your rewarded tokens from the comfort of your wallet. So watch this space. Now, as an end user, how would I determine which mixed node I want to delegate to? As you can see at the bottom of the delegation screen, we have this hyperlink which will redirect us to the Network Explorer, which gives an overview of all the mixed nodes available to delegate to. So let's go to it. As a disclaimer, I'm currently running this video against our sandbox environment, and I have just selected the hyperlink from inside the wallet to bring me onto the mixed node page within the Explorer. Here, I've got a variety of options to determine who and which mix node I would like to delegate to. We have a drop down selector which specifies what set these mix nodes are going to be. So, for this instance, I'm going to select active. I'm now going to refine my search to see who else has bonded to these mix nodes. And then I'm going to make my decision making process based upon who has delegated to which mix node. I am now going to select the top mix node and then drill into the specifics of this. So as I can see from the information that's displayed to me, the amount of total delegations to this mix node and further information about the mix node itself. If I scroll down, I can also see in the left hand panel how many packets the mix node has mixed and I can see its uptime, which gives me a better understanding of how reliable this mix node is. And for this instance, I am now going to copy this identity key because I've made my decision this is the mix node I want to delegate to. I'm going to copy this and then make my way back to the wallet. Now that I'm back inside the wallet, what I'm going to do is input the mix node identity key and specify the amount that I would like to delegate. In this instance, I'm going to delegate 500 NIMT tokens. Once I'm happy with that, I proceed to select the Delegate State button. And as I can see, my delegation is successful. I am now going to select Finish, and that will bring me back to the Delegate screen once again. One thing to highlight here, you are not bound just to delegate into one mix node. You can delegate to multiple mix nodes, and I will show this now by selecting another one, delegating that, that would then lead me on to undelegating from mix nodes. I have another mix node identity key to hand, and this time round I'm going to delegate 100 NIMT tokens. Once again, my transaction is successful, I'm going to select finish, which will then lead me on to the undelegation. To undelegate from any of your mix nodes, simply navigate to the undelegate button and then you are presented with the undelegate screen. And if you desire to undelegate from a mix node, it's quite simple. All you'd have to do is expand the drop down selector, select the mix node identity key that you wish to undelegate from, then select undelegate stake. And that is successful. I can then go to my balance and it's updated my previous delegation stake. Thank you.